I just don't have the time to relax. Gotta keep these diners in the black. The coffee is brewing, the customers are chewing. Your whole life feels like an interlude when you're serving up cartoon food. So I just don't have the time to sit down. Time to sit. Busiest street in all of diner town. Some call it Florida Street, but they're not in the know. gonna be a big day. Everything ready to go? Check this out, Flo. I've programmed the coffee maker to brew every 20 minutes. Thanks for your help, Grandma. There's gonna be a million people here with all the wedding guests in town. Ay, 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 you got it set to every 20 seconds. Dad, nab it. All right, we better clean this up before more customers arrive. My trusty mop. Voila! Oh, that's my cell phone. Where did I leave that thing? There's my purse. I'm in trouble. Not again, Quinn. Now what? The wedding starts in five hours and everything's a complete disaster. What? Did Miss Big break a nail? Watch the coffee, Grandma! The cake is green, the flowers are dead, Miss Big's ring-bearing poodle is missing, the butterflies all flew away, and her wedding gown is completely wrecked. Are you serious? Well, it could be worse. <sighs> yeah, uh, well, you know the wedding rings that they gave me for safekeeping? You mean the ones with the huge diamonds that you couldn't stop trying on? They're gone, Flo! <laughs> They're worth $50,000! Oh, man, Miss Big is going to kill you. I'll have to find a new roommate. It's not funny, Flo. All right, all right, hang on. Let me write this down. Please hurry. If Miss Big finds out, she'll call off the wedding. My career will be ruined. Relax, I'll take care of everything. Where's my dress and everything? Isn't it getting late? No, no, everything is right on schedule. Don't you worry. You're sure you'll be okay without me? We've got it all under control, don't we, Cookie? Yes, of course we do. Okay then, time to head out and save this wedding. sort of big net or mesh bag or something. Oh, you're gonna look sharp in those pinstripes burning. Well, thanks for getting the wrinkles out. It looks perfect. 
carry it by the hanger. Don't drag it on the ground. All right, thanks, guys. Are those your laundry bags? Yup, we've got a ton of them. They're made of lightweight, breathable mesh. Perfect for collecting a bunch of butterflies. Could you lend me one? I don't see why not. Here you go. I hate to see bottles in the street. I'll recycle this later. Hi, Diane. Wow, you're all dressed up for the wedding already. I can't wait to go. I'm hoping to sit next to Derek. He's so handsome. Well, be warned. There's a good chance this wedding isn't gonna happen. Oh no, really? Well, I know Quinn will make it happen. We'll see. Say, what's that red bottle on the tree near your window? I was wondering that myself, but my window's totally stuck. I can't open it wide enough to see. Hmm, well, if I come across something that could get that window unstuck, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be here. See ya. to visit the dress shop to find out what happened to Miss... Whoa, Bobby, since when does your bead machine do juggling tricks? Oh, Flo, what a fiasco! Quinn dropped the gown off so I could sew some beads back on. I put it on the bead machine, turned it on, and bam! The machine went totally bonkers and shredded it to bits. I'm doomed. I'll never have enough time to sew a new dress and do all the bead work. Uh, I could do the bead work. But the machine's going haywire, and I can't find the beads that it sent flying all over. No problem. You work on the dress, and I'll fix the machine and find the beads. All right, let's find all the beads that got scattered around the shop. Screwdriver. Well, that's always good for fixing stuff. I love your clothing displays. How do you hang them up so high? Let's just use that big long garment pole. Ooh, could I borrow that thing? Actually, I may to fix up those pose displays later. I want my shop to look good for all the wedding guests in town. What if I did the displays? Okay, but you have no idea how particular I am when it comes to these things.
I'm sure I can use this somewhere. machine first. I don't want to lose all the beads again. I bet this will work. I should be a mechanic. Sorry to bug you, Bobby, but what code should I enter on the control panel? Good question. I know I wrote that code down somewhere, but I have no clue where I stuck that paper. loaded in it, so as long as it's full of beads, it should be good to go. I don't wear dresses much, but those are nice. Bobby is so talented. I don't wear dresses much, but those are nice. That spiral staircase is so cool. There's nothing up there, though. Someday I'll open up a second floor.
Look at that gorgeous beadwork. Yeah, but the machine's out of beads. Oh, I was afraid of that. That machine completely pulverized some beads. I don't have any more. Now what? You keep working on the dress. I'll find more beads somewhere around town. See you later, Bobby. There's nothing. Good morning, Flo. Hi, Greg. Hi, Herb. How's the laundry business? Oh, we've been swamped. Suits, tuxedos, gowns. Everyone waits till the last minute to dry clean their outfit for the wedding. Even Mr. Big trusted us with cleaning his suit for the wedding. That's fantastic. I only need one bag. I shouldn't be greedy. Greg and Herb's laundry truck sure looks spiffy with their pictures on it. Let's see, I could visit the beauty salon, but I should probably walk down the street further to the pet spa. nothing that I need that way. I need to remember to go talk to Walter at the pet spa. Ooh, on Ethel. What beautiful necklaces. Aren't they dazzling? They've been selling like hotcakes. Everyone's buying something special to wear to the wedding? That's right. I'm looking for beads to replace the ones that fell off Miss Big's wedding gown. Oh, well, I know she used Sparklovsky crystal beads. I have one necklace made of those. Oh, that's perfect. I hate to ask, but could you cut it so I can use the loose beads? Of course, don't feel bad. Oh dear, where are my wire cutters? They're gone. I'll just take the necklace then. I can find something to cut it. Oh no, it won't work. I use super strength feeding wire and the only thing that cuts through it is my super strength wire cutters. Hmm, I had them at the pet spa yesterday. I was doing some feeding while my parrot got her feathers fluffed. Okay, I'll go see if I can find them there. Hey, Cassie. You haven't found any wedding rings around here, have you? No, but I heard about that. Quinn must be a rack. Yeah, it's not just the rings, it's the poodle, the cake, the flowers, the butterflies. Maybe someone's trying to ruin the wedding. Nah, who would do that? Who knows? Could be Miss Big's ex-boyfriend, Colin. You know, that guy who's always on his cell phone? He came in for some bird seed yesterday, and I overheard him saying that he really needed someone to talk to. Anyway, let me know if I can help somehow. Thanks. Maybe I'll just look around your shop a little. What are you doing with all those boxes? They're wedding favors. Apparently.
Apparently lots of pet lovers are attending the wedding, so Miss Big ordered them gift boxes full of pet supplies. It's taking way longer to put them together than I thought. It's gonna be down to the wire. Those treats look yummy. Oh, I'm tempted to try one myself. I bake them fresh every morning. Would Snookums go for one of those? Oh, totally. Except he only likes peanut butter poodle pops, and I'm sold out of those. Oh, I hate to ask, but do you think you could bake another one? Well, I would, but I still have all these packages to finish before the wedding. I'll pack them up for you. I'll do anything for a fresh-baked peanut butter poodle pop. Okay, but it's not as easy as it looks.
have skillet, I don't think I could resist. <laughs> Hello there, Penny. Hello there, Flo. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice looking fish. They're more trouble than they're worth, though. Thanks again for the dog treat. Sure. I hope it helps you get Snookums back. That's a... Fancy doghouse. That's a top of the line heated insulin. Quinn and I are really gonna be in the doghouse if Miss Big's wedding gets ruined. Well, it might be a little tight in there, but I'll give you a great deal on it if you're interested. Let's hope it doesn't come down to that. Remember to go talk to Walter at the pet spa. do laundry tonight. I'll have to take the subway to the bakery later. I'd better finish things up around here first. Exhausted, and now my car's giving me trouble. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. I'm usually a morning person, but not today. You need some caffeine. Are you using that can of oil? Not right now. Can I borrow it? No, I, I don't know. I can't think straight. Wow, I've never seen you grumpy before, Derek. I'm just so tired. I need to wake up somehow.
thought you'd never come. I'm not one to stress out, but I've never been this upset in my life. Walter, are you crazy? I, I mean, I know you lost Snookums, but what have you done to yourself? I know! It totally looks like blood! It was so bizarre! I started lathering up Snookums with his favorite strawberry-scented fluff -a poot shampoo, but it started turning his fur this horrible red color! It's like something straight out of a horror movie. I ran to get some carpet stain remover, like, to reverse the damage, but when I turned back around, Snookums was gone! I wanted to go look for him, but there's no way I could leave the other pets here. Why would the shampoo go bad like that? No clue. I was so mad that I chucked the bottle out the front door. What a nightmare. Well, I'm sure Snookums hasn't gone far. I'll find him. Flo, if you can find that dog, I'll be your very best friend for life. <laughs> Um, I mean, your second best friend. What's up with cats? All they do is sleep, shed, scratch up furniture, and ignore you. Cats rule. At least they don't drink out of the toilet and then try to kiss you. Lazy cats. That's Peeves. She belongs to Uncle Ernie. Oh, Uncle Ernie's pet peeves. Walter, do you know which direction Snookums might have gone? Nope, I have no idea. Okay, I better head out before he gets too far. That bubble bath looks so relaxing. Sorry, Flo. It's for pets only. Um, one more thing, Flo. If you find Snookums, I'm still gonna need some dye remover to clean him up. Oh, right. Okay, I'll see what I can find. There's nothing that I need that way. Okay, Walter, get ready to be my new best friend for life. No way, Flo! Oh, Snookums, I've never been so happy to see your fluffy little face. But dude, you can't show up to the wedding looking like that. Miss Big would have a fit. Oh, right. You need the dye remover.
Hi, Betty. Ready for a day full of fancy updos? Ugh, where is it? It's gotta be in here somewhere. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Miss Pig's bridesmaids are coming to get their hair dyed to match their red dresses, and I can't find the royal ruby red hair dye. Can't you use a different shade? Romantic rose, sinfully scarlet, awfully auburn? No, it's gotta be royal ruby. Miss Fig was very particular about that. I had it here last night, I'm sure of it. Hmm, this all seems very fishy. Well, if you come across any $50,000 wedding rings, let me know. Those lace curtains are gorgeous. Can I take a look at them? Flo, you're starting to bug me. I really don't want anyone messing around in my shop until that royal ruby red dye turns up. I don't think this is the right place to use the garment pole. Do you have any dye remover, Betty? Yes, of course. Could you show me where it is? Uh, not right now. I've got to find the royal ruby red dye. Can I look for it myself? No, I don't want anyone poking around the cabinets until I find it. Okay, sorry. Do you have any dye rep? Yes, I could. Uh, can I look? No. There's Quinn's wedding planning office. It's closed today since she's busy setting up at the cruise ship. Love a cup of coffee in the morning. I love that old jukebox. It used to be grandma's. There's nothing in the safe. Hmm, that can't be the right time. Hey, Flo. I hear there's gonna be an all-you-can-eat buffet room. Mm -hmm. Great. I'll know where to find you. Did you have your usual today, Seymour? Yep. Two eggs, sunny side up, fried toast with butter, and this nice hot coffee. I need the caffeine to stay awake for the wedding tonight. I can't believe Miss Big invited everyone in Diner Town to the wedding. It's gonna be some party, I hope. You're back already? Just making sure everything's okay here. Oh, we're fine. Just get out of here. Are you done saving the wedding? Not yet. I just missed you guys. Maybe this will wake you up. Oh, that looks really good. Well... I feel better already. Thanks. Can I borrow that can of oil now? Of 
course. I'd be happy to lend it to you. Don't even worry about returning it. Great, thanks. This could come in handy. I think I found something to get your window open. Oh, wonderful. Where is it? Here you go. Just put a few drops on the window tracks. Fantastic. I'll try it right now. If you get the window open, can you grab that red bottle for me? Sure, no problem. Aha! It's a bottle of royal ruby red hair dye. Are you gonna wear your hair to the wedding flow? Uh, in a ponytail? Oh, well, I hope you at least wash it first. All that dyna grease can't be good for it. I should get my hair done here someday. Oh, super duper strength! Nice! Now let's see if this does the trick. Whoa, that's powerful stuff. My hands are back to normal too. Flo, I can't thank you enough. I'll bring Snookums down to the cruise ship myself right after his fur dries a little more. Okay, see you at the wedding. Nookums looks fabulous! Miss Big will be thrilled! Thank you! Thank goodness for peanut butter poodle pops. They're pretty tasty, you know. What? Uh, never mind. I'll keep working on the list. I can't get over how perfectly white his fur looks. He's had a day of luxury at the pet spa. I guess he's ready to be the ring bearer then. Do you have the rings? No, no, uh, I'm uh, keeping them in a safe place until it's time. Perfect. Thank you. 
you. Have a nice day. I still really need those beads, but I haven't found the wire cutters yet. I'm certain I had them when I was at the pet spa yesterday. They must be there somewhere. Okay, I'll check it out. Woohoo! I think that was the last butterfly left in this neighborhood. lace curtains? No way! Come on, you owe me, right? I hear lace curtains are out of style anyway. Really? Well, in that case, fine. If you can find a way to get them down, be my guest. Hmm, I can't reach the curtain rod. How are you gonna wear your hair to the wedding floor? Uh, it, oh. I should get my hair done here someday. I gotta wonder if someone purposely messed with that shampoo. Yeah, too many things are going wrong for this wedding. Something is definitely awry. Hmm, can I have one of these snacks? Those are for dogs, Flo. Oh, you think Snookums would like one? No, Snookums is very fussy. He'll only eat fresh baked treats. I don't sell those here. Stop staring at that bubble. Don't even think about it, Flo. Does Snookums like dog bones? No way. Gnawing on a bone is much too barbaric for that food. Does Snookums like dog bones? No way. Nice picture of Rocky and Wendy. Aha! There's always hidden treasures beneath sofa cushions. These must be Aunt Ethel's wire cutters. sofa cushion at the pet spa. Fantastic! I'll cut that necklace for you right now. You owe me nothing! It's on me! Okay, well next time you're at the diner, I'll treat you to your favorite banana berry pancakes. It's a deal! See you at the wedding! You're not gonna cry at the wedding again, are you? I'll try my best not to make a scene. Bye now!
I should use these in the bead machine.
stunning. I'll sew it all into place. That was fun. So now you just have to add on the train, and that's it? The train? Oh, no! The train! I completely forgot. I don't have any lace left. I have some lace curtains. Would that help? Hmm. Let me see them. What do you think, Bobby? Will these do the trick? I found them at the hair salon. Those are perfect, Flo. I'll sew it right on. Wow, I've never seen so many ruffles. Miss Big is gonna love it. She'd better love it. You're a lifesaver, Flo. I'll go bring the gown down to the cruise ship now. Wow, your gown is gorgeous. I can't believe how uh, flawless it looks. Every bead is just right. You're going to be a beautiful bride. Hey, of course she is. My Vicky Poo always looks beautiful. Tony, you're not supposed to be here. It's bad luck. Okay, okay. I'll be waiting for you at the end of the aisle, my sweet. I can't believe him. Don't worry. Your wedding will go off without a hitch. Okay, let's head to the bakery to see about the wedding cake. We'll need to take the subway. 